we're at opposite ends of the spectrum on the big picture. When you look at what happened in 1971, it's been 50 years now, they started printing money. And what their intention was not real estate, it was stock market. And what happened, so what happened is when they started printing money in 71, then they, then they pushed to get gold become, uh, you know, so Jeff, when you guys are talking about Bitcoin, gold was illegal for humans, for Americans to own. So that happened in 1974 under this guy named um, Gerald Ford, Dopey. And um, then what happened between 61 and 81, nobody was buying stocks because of my generation, baby boom generation, only people who invested in stocks were gamblers. Most people were in bonds. And so what happened is they had to find a way to incentivize people to get into stocks. And so what happened in 87 was that stock market crash and it was called the green span put. So it's just on time. So what happened in 74, they started putting people into 401ks because they had to find a way to force the idiots to buy stocks. So meanwhile, real estate comes along because they, they can't figure out how to stop us from using debt because the dollar became debt in 71, that's macro. And the only way they could get debt to make sense was to increase taxes. So that was in 1913. The Federal Reserve Bank was created, but so was the IRS created. That's macro. So for there to be the dollar, there had to be taxes. But they never tell people that. And the reason that real estate is, in my opinion, the best investment is because if you're good at it, if you're good at it, the banks will give you as much money as you want. And the IRS says, thank you very much. You don't have to pay taxes. So when you step back and you look at the big picture, so always remember this. Quantitative easing started when Robert Helms, they, was, they always had quantitative easing, but when they started in 2008, it's literally printing money. What the Fed does, it buys U.S. Treasury debt, so the Fed and the Treasury. But it goes back to the basic, not real estate, it's not Bitcoin, it's not stocks or bonds. Question number one is, are you going to be a sheep? Nah. Just being told what to do. You know, buy Bitcoin, buy buy stocks, invest in the long term in the 401k, which I would never touch. Never. Not because it's bad. It's just because I can get better deals. So we're entrepreneurs. So, you know, I just invested in a green new deal company. We're going to make more money. Then I have to buy more real estate. God damn it. Because if I don't buy real estate, I'm going to pay taxes. And it's a, that's the macro picture. The concern is where Jeff Wang comes in is if they shift to fed coin there's going to be there's going to be a china coin but when they go to fed coin then we go to hyper -income. that's gresham's law bad money goes in when bad money enters the economy good money goes into hiding if they go to fed coin gold silver bitcoin become more valuable but until then they'll go through its gyrations so remember this every time they print money which is quantitative easing which happened after 2008 2009 there was a short burst of inflation but the inflation only hit the investor class. It didn't help the working class. So today, what you hear is all these people speak about income inequality, but that goes to rich dad's rule number one, rich don't work for money. If you have a job, you're getting screwed left up one side, down the other, you can't get ahead. And if you're putting it in the stock market, the reason I don't like the 401k or the IRA is who tells you what you can invest in it? Wall Street. And so the reason Kim and I don't have stocks is not because they're bad investments. We can create better investments as entrepreneurs. And when we create better investments, then we call Kenny up and the real estate guys up, what you got? We need to borrow money so we don't have to pay taxes. And because Jeff, we make so much money, Kim and I have millions of dollars of gold, silver, and Bitcoin. We don't save dollars. That's kind of the macro picture. And exactly as the real estate guy said, you know, real estate is actually local. If you don't get the bigger picture here of what's going on, you'd better wake up. So it goes back to one question, the reason we support Rich Dad's World Video. The question is, do you want to be taught? Do you want to be learned to be a capitalist? Or do you want to be a sheep and just told what to do and chase the latest fad and try and get rich quick? They want to centralize control everything. So the reason I support Bitcoin and uh, especially blockchain, it's just decentralized. It's people's money. Gold and silver are God's money. And so that's why I started this whole thing is that if you go to GovCoin or the, or the FedCoin, it's actually good news for everybody, but they're coming after us. Then there will be hyperinflation like we've never seen before. 
because when there is a gov coin, they're going to bypass the bank system. So the reason Kim and I make so much money is because we can go to guys like Robert Helms or the real estate guys, or we can get as much debt as we can. See, money is debt, Jeff. It's debt. And that's why they need taxes to collect it. So that's why I think bigger. That's that's my message today. And that's what Rich Dad's world stands for. Think bigger. Don't just think about real estate. Don't think about a two bedroom, one bath house. It's it's about what is money today. In 1971, it became debt and taxes. And so that's why when Dave Ramsey says get out of debt, that's good advice for most people. When Tony Robbins says buy ETFs, that's good for most people because they can't think. They don't have the brain power to think. And to do that really takes financial education. So please study the bigger picture. Get out of the small, dinky little mini pictures. And then you can decide. Okay. So Kim and I are always looking at, at, I mean, at least I am. I'm always looking at new assets to create. But once I once we have the assets, then we use the debt to buy real estate and we pay no taxes. And because we pay no taxes, Jeff, we buy all the gold, silver, and crypto we want. That's capitalism. Whenever I'm on talking to your crypto head guys, I, I buy gold, silver, Bitcoin, and bullets. So that's why I said they're going to print money, but it's only short term. It only affects those with financial education. That's why we have Rich Dad's World. The people who are still having jobs, they're going to get screwed. The working class is going to get screwed again because it's going to go to deflation again. Every time they print money, it ultimately leads to deflation for the working class. It's called that it, they have to work harder and that's causing civil unrest. That's my concern. Micro macro. And when you print money today, the only people that get rich are the rich. The idiots get poor because of the, it'll boom, but high, but inflation of life gets more expensive for the working class. That's the tragedy of idiots going to school, being taught by poor people like my poor dad. It's really, really sad what's happening in the world. It is education. We wonder why we have problems. It's an education. So you can sit there and be told what to do, which is invest in a 401k, which I would never do, but maybe you should. And some people say, get out of debt. Well, you should, but I like debt. But don't do it without education. Some people like paying taxes. The average small business owner is being crushed by taxes today. They're just being crushed. They can't, more regulations, they're raising what they can get workers today, and they're gonna raise taxes on and they work harder like idiots when they could go and learn from Rich Dad's world, get the macro picture and make better decisions. That, that's really my point of view. It's been our point of view for all these years, right, Tim? That's it. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree, the only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free 